think we've all dreamed about leaving society and running away to the Shire to become a hobbit. Oh, to plant sunflower seeds in Samwise's garden or sip on a mug of tea in an old armchair by the fire. As we're constantly overwhelmed from the fast-paced modern lifestyle and information overload of social media, there's a desire to return to a simple, slow way of living. As Tolkien wrote, it's no bad thing to celebrate a simple life. And although arguably the point of The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings was that you shouldn't get sucked in by the comforts of the Shire and instead you should go out and explore the world, there are a lot of really wonderful things that we can take from Hobbit culture as it were. And there's been a really big resurgence in cottage core or desire to return to country living in recent years and a real ode to creating this lifestyle from the past. But life in the past wasn't all flowing dresses and bacon bread, it was tough and it's easy to romanticise this and omit the hardships of actually needing to cook from scratch, grow your own food and make everything yourself. So why are we craving it then? I've been thinking about this a lot recently and as I've been overworking myself and feeling pushed to the limit, I'm stuck in this constant feeling of always being in a rush, never feeling like I'm done with anything or being able to take my time with anything. I've thought about slow living a lot over the years and putting it into practice in a realistic way is quite difficult. So in this video, aside from going and exploring this wonderful hobbit hole, I wanted to explore some of the things that I've been thinking about and how I want to incorporate them into my daily life. One of the most basic things that I do that never fails to ground me and just gives me a moment to breathe and relax is simply hot drinks and it's quite basic but I wanted to include it anyway because it's something that genuinely does help me a lot in life and no matter how busy everything gets I always try to take a moment to just sit and be with a hot drink. The whole act of doing it is an experience for me selecting the herbs that suit the moment, some of them grown myself with so much love and care and this time I chose chamomile, lemon balm, lavender and peppermint and then just letting them infuse and just smelling the scent of the herbal steam and then taking a moment to sit and do nothing else but sip my drink and observe. Weather permitting, I like to do this outside, but the weather is often a little bit crazy where I live, as you can see from the wind today. This is an extremely simple thing, but I find that it just helps me to take a moment out of the day, not check my phone and just relax for a few moments. So something else that has been on my mind quite a lot recently is social media and this is something which I seem to have an eternal battle with. I can just never um, make peace with it or get to a good situation or whatever 
um, but I feel like it is preventing me from being able to slow down and um, feel peaceful and by social media I pretty much mean Instagram um, and I've just been thinking about it a lot recently because I feel like I've reached a breaking point with it. When I first joined Instagram many many years ago um, it was very easy to grow when it was just a photo platform and it was uh, not owned by Meta yet and you just had to take nice photos, interact with other accounts, um, use hashtags, like you know the basic things. Um, so it was nice, it was fun and it was it was fun to grow on and you could see um, you could just see a lot of really cool stuff on there. Um, it got worse and worse over the years as everyone is aware and then it kind of for me it culminated in the introduction of reels and I find short form video so intense and I think everyone does it's just an it's an extremely intense form of content it is so addictive unlike anything else I've ever come across on social media and um, I just was finding myself getting sucked into watching reels for hours and it's such a waste of time um, and it's the reason that I I do have a TikTok but I literally never go on it. I've posted some but then I was like, I need to get off this platform because I, I can't watch this many videos. It's too addictive. And then they moved that over to Reels. So you can't really escape it now. And when you go on the Instagram app, it's nothing like it used to be. It's um, videos just screaming at you. So intense. It's so many ads. It's just it's not a good space and I just found as well that the, the conversations happening online are so negative. Um, Facebook as well, they purposefully promote inflammatory content and so that people kick off in the comments and uh, stay on and boost engagement and so on and so forth. Um, but I just can't help reading the comments and it's it like actually infuriates me. Um, I don't argue with people with comments, I just obviously I just scroll by but I get to see how cruel and willfully ignorant people can be. Um, and I know there's so many good things on social media, there's so many inc incredible content creators and um, just lovely people doing really interesting things, sharing their art and stuff and I've definitely seen those benefits from social media. But I think it, it for me it kind of makes like a fake relationship where like I think I'm friends with these people that I've never met before but I'm not really because I don't really talk to them like we're not you know building a friendship online it's just like we see each other post stuff we might react to the odd story here and there and it's like this weird thing where you put energy into those people rather than the people that are in your actual life um, and I, I just find myself wanting to capture every single moment that happens and not because I want to look back on it but so I can put it on my story basically so if I'm watching a film I want to tell everyone that I'm watching this film what I'm eating where I am what I've just read all these things and it's like it's so bad that I, I feel that way um, and I find it really difficult to get out of it as well. Um, I haven't been on Instagram for like a week. I was like, I need to just get away from this. And I just feel this urge all the time to go on, see what everyone's up to and also share what I'm up to just to, I don't know what it's for. I guess it's like to prove that you're doing stuff, isn't it? To make you seem interesting and it's, it's weird that that's what's that's what it's come to um and i also find that when i go on social media i always see things that i don't like so um i might see like a really upsetting piece of news that um i didn't need to see i can't do anything about it, it doesn't affect anything in like i can't do anything so um getting upset from certain things um uh, I'm not saying that you shouldn't keep up to date on important causes and news and stuff but like constantly thinking about negative things that I've seen and um, feeling like my brain is full of cotton wool from watching reels all the time um, and I feel like I just kind of reached the limit with it where I don't want to be somebody that needs to prove I'm doing everything online um, and I don't want to 
constantly be consuming content like that. So I'm going to try and not be on Instagram. I haven't deactivated the account or anything. Um, I'm just... Um, I'm just going to leave it there, maybe log on and post something like once a month, I don't know, I haven't decided yet, but that's something that I wanted to talk about in this video because it's something that's really bothering me with social media and um, I feel like I've reached a limit now because all the work that I've put into growing my accounts over the years, and it's a lot of work, it doesn't work anymore, you can't grow like you could then, and you can't actually engage with the people who do follow you my posts get shown to sometimes two percent of the audience that i've spent so much time and effort into creating so it just feels like a waste of time um so yeah i, I think that's one of the things that i'm gonna do as part of this um this idea of kind of just slowing down and being more relaxed and, and not feeling like i'm in a rush all the time because that's what it makes me feel like when I watch all these videos because it's so quick and snappy. I feel like I'm in a rush. It's weird. Um, so I'm going to try and have some time away from it and not... Yeah, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet, but I'm, I'm going to try and stay off it because it's just not good for my brain at all. And I don't want to be somebody that just documents the whole life online. Um, yeah. It's, it's very strange times that we're living in, but that's one of the things that I wanted to just mention in this video because that's something that I'm going to be doing to try and um, clear up some space in my brain and also give more actual time in my day where I'm not just sitting scrolling social media. Another simple thing I like to do to just make some space in my brain and get out of my own head is just to walk in nature and it's so simple like the tea and it's something that I include in almost every video because I feel it is so vital for our health it's where we're supposed to be so get out into the forest the beach the mountains or even just the local park put your phone down and engage with the world around you even if you're in a city you can still do this which plants can you identify grown out the cracks in the pavement? Which insects can you see in the sky? What does the air taste like? How are the seasons shifting? I love taking intentional walks like this to really be present and mindful in my life. When I was last visiting my mum who lives in Ireland um, and I was just kind of watching her go about her daily life, I was just kind of inspired because she does everything so slowly and not just for the sake of being slow because she can't do things quickly, but she does things properly and takes time with them. Um, whereas I always feel like I'm in a rush. So an example would probably be like, um, doing the dishes. <laughs> it's not something that everyone wants to do. Um, you know, it's a chore that just has to be done. But when I do things like that, household tasks, I'm in such a rush to get them done. Um, and I just kind of like rush through it mindlessly, just and I don't do things properly sometimes. Whereas watching her, she would just take a really um, good amount of time with everything and just you know wash everything properly and rinse things off and like just I don't know it's just like really chill watching her do stuff and she's kind of like that with everything um so that was quite nice to see and got me thinking about that kind of thing and about um I guess like we're always looking for the big exciting things in life to happen um but in reality most of life is these boring everyday things <laughs> And I don't think that's depressing. Um, I think that's absolutely 
fine um so most of life is kind of like waking up you know getting your breakfast going on a little walk doing the dishes doing the washing pottering around the house that is most of your life um which might sound like scary but i don't think it should be i think that's just normal i think that's just being a human um so i'm just thinking about how i can be more mindful in these activities and actually get more from them rather than just rushing through every aspect of my life and just waiting for oh, i can't wait for this day to end and this week to end and, and stuff like that and just wishing my whole life away basically um so i'm trying to just take more time in those specific moments to just monotask and just do one thing at a time and do it properly and focus on it and also to carve out time to do things that I like um, and one of these things is hobbies that I just enjoy but aren't for anything. Um, I definitely am guilty of getting into the trap of like having to just make sure everything has a point um, and a point is like your career basically so um, I should only put work into something if um, you know it's for my personal development goals in life and stuff but I want to kind of get away from that because I want to just do things because I enjoy them and just for the sake of it um, because that's what being alive is all about in my opinion um, so things hobbies that aren't for anything except for me to enjoy them are things that I've been doing more of um, and just cutting down on the on the on the just the stupid things um, like sitting on scroll on social media all day so then I actually do have time in the day where I'm like oh I've got like a couple hours here what can I do I can work a little bit on writing or something and then I can also do these other hobbies just for the sake of it because it's fun and just take my time with it and just chill and just do it because why not so I know that's a bit big actually just kind of slow down and I know people talk about that quite a lot but I just wanted to give my kind of take on it and from what I've seen and what I've experienced um, because that's definitely something that I'm trying to do more of is just take it a bit steadier because I feel in a, like I'm in a rush all the time and um, I just don't want to be like that anymore. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I know it was a bit of a random one um, but it's just something that I've been thinking about a lot over the last few years and then when I went to this Hobbit Hall I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to bring it all together and talk about this topic a little bit and then share some of my thoughts. Um, but as always I'm interested to know what you think and the things that you've been doing in your life. Um, please do drop a comment. Um, I definitely do read all of them. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha